When ancient humans first discovered the wheel, they couldn't have imagined the tremendously powerful cars we drive today. Aside from speed, passenger safety has also occupied innovators' minds for decades. When sitting in a metal container that runs at speeds of 80 miles per hour or faster, some mechanisms need to be in place that keep riders safe. That's essentially how seatbelts came into the picture. However, have you noticed an interesting phenomenon? There are seatbelts in cars and similar vehicles, but there aren't seatbelts on buses. Why is that? A seatbelt, also referred to as a safety belt, is a safety device installed in automobiles to secure an occupant against any harmful movements or powerful jolts due to collisions, sudden stops, or accidents. A seatbelt keeps the body positioned in a way to maximize the effectiveness of the airbag if it's deployed following an accident. Additionally, seatbelts provide a more comfortable ride by ensuring that you don't sway or jerk while maneuvering through turns. However, if seatbelts are such safety essentials in an automobile, why don't they put seatbelts in buses? First, let's look at the measures of safety that buses already offer over other automobiles. Buses carry many passengers while making their rounds through towns and cities. In fact, many kids travel in school buses every day. With that in mind, buses are designed to be safe, or at least safer than other vehicles. They are much heavier and larger than most automobiles on the road alongside them. Also, buses don't tend to go as fast as other vehicles of the same size, but have less weight riding on their wheels. Since the mass of a body is directly proportional to its momentum, even if a bus collides with another vehicle on the road, it doesn't typically sustain much damage. Furthermore, passengers sit quite high off the ground in buses. This decent clearing from the ground is a highly important natural safety feature that smaller automobiles, motorcycles, and SUVs don't offer. If an accident occurs, the impact will be largely absorbed by the deck of the bus and not the occupants. According to transportation officials, the most important feature of a bus that nullifies the need for seatbelts is compartmentalization. Seats are installed equidistant from each other, segregating passengers in small compartments. Think of how eggs are protected from damage by keeping them segregated and divided into small compartments in the carton. The design is the same in buses. The seat in front of you is high enough and decently padded enough to arrest your motion in the forward direction. Another reason why buses don't have seatbelts is the cost. Studies have shown that adding seatbelts raises the cost of a bus by eight to $15,000 without having any major impact on the safety of passengers. All in all, buses of all kinds are designed to ensure the safety of their precious passengers. So don't worry that there isn't a belt to click on your ride across town.